deflected. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation... Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Now the pass finding its way into the hands of Eric Ebron. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Now Roethlisberger on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got it complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. On first and 10 is Connor. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Gets it to Smith-Schuster on the jet sweep. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action hit them over the top. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. And Mike Tomlin going to roll up the sleeves here and say, let's go for it on fourth. They'll run for it with Connor. And he's not going to get the first. I don't even think he made it back to the line of scrimmage. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Raider D, they get the football back. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do in the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. Play action. Now it's Carr. And he's going to be taken down. Sacked back at the two. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. It's third down. 
from his end zone. It's Carr on third and long. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. 16 yards. First down. Raiders. On first and 10, here's Carr. And this will be caught. Tyrell Williams. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now in Pittsburgh. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. That's Vince Williams who gets the sack. The protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. To throw, it's Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Tyrell Williams was the intended target. Third down here. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he takes it down deep into Pittsburgh territory. Complete a big play Gary that time Walter. for the Raiders. 51 yards. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. First down, Richard. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. Brings up second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Richard. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Touchdown. A 13 yard touchdown run. And the Raiders have taken the lead. Point after. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second-guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. The catch and run there. Good for 16 and a first. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun. It's Roethlisberger. He's going to launch it for Washington. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. On second down, Connor looking for space. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. A pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Oh, 
So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And that is incomplete. Figuring they're going for it on fourth down. Remember, though, they do have all three timeouts, so even if they don't get it, all is not lost. Yeah, normally in this situation, when you're talking about having to go for it, everything is in this play. But as you noted, with those three timeouts, they actually have a little bit of a safety net. Now they go for it on fourth down, but that pass is knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Raider D, they get the football back. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. The throw complete here to Williams. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The 49-yard line. Second and two. to Jacobs and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line and now the question everyone's wondering look at the clock late fourth quarter do they put the ball in the air here on third I don't I run the football and I tell my offensive line no leakage up front I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him I don't want any type of an issue but if I am going to throw it quick throw out to the perimeter Maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. On third down, Richard. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Brings up fourth down. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll keep it on the ground. Richard, and he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. First down, Las Vegas. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. And four at the 39-yard line. It's Williams. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play, get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. So this one a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, 
Whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we sign off from Heinz Field.